Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is going to be my five month update on my FUE hair transplant that I got on Harley Street. If you guys are new to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I am tracking my hair transplant growth every month, so there is a new video every month all about how it's doing and where it's at right now. Later on in this video, we're gonna take a look at where my hair is now and a little progress update from beginning to, to where I am right now. But I'm gonna jump straight in with the frequently asked questions that I get in the comments down below. If you do have any questions, let me know and I will get back to you either in the comments or in a upcoming video. So let's go with the questions. I had my FUE hair transplant on the 13th of July at Vinci Hair Clinic in Harley Street in London. I got 2,500 grafts from the back of my head into the front of my head. The total cost was under £5,000 and above £3,000, so you can kind of guess where it is right there, somewhere in the middle, and that included the hair transplant itself and a session of PRP. I've done another video on PRP and the whole process with that, um, so you can check that out on my channel or find the link in the description down below. The surgery itself lasted about eight hours in total. It was like four hours of getting the hair extracted from the back of my head and then I had a little lunch break and then like three to three and a half hours of them making the incisions into my forehead and then implanting the new grafts into my new hairline. The only pain I really experienced was the initial anesthetic injection into the back of my head. They kind of did it in like rows to like obviously numb the area before they extracted all of the all of the hair follicles. And then again, the only pain from the, the other part is, is when they put the anesthetic into the, your scalp so they can make the incisions on your forehead to then put the grafts into your head. So yeah, that was the only actual pain that I experienced. There was some discomfort after the surgery had taken place. Um, so mostly due to the fact that there was like swelling and sleeping was really difficult. So I couldn't sleep like a normal person. I had to sleep like dead straight on my like on my back. And that was, that was pretty much it. It was really, really difficult to sleep for the first two weeks. The swelling that I experienced was quite bad. Um, I've seen worse, so I'm not too, like it was such a long time ago now that I don't really like, I can't even really remember it, but I know that it was bad. The swelling lasted less than a week, so it wasn't, it wasn't a long amount of swelling, but it's literally just the anesthetic moving from the top of your head down your face and then getting absorbed into the body and then clearing out. But I was back to normal in less than a week, so swelling, not too bad. So I chose my own hairline. I was very, very, very specific when I got when I had the um, procedure done. They mark on your head with a with a pen where the hairline will be. But I was really, really insistent that I wanted it to be like dead straight going <laughs> across like that. So it's completely different to what my natural hairline looked like with the 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 M sort of shape on my forehead. That's that's no longer there. It's 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 a, it's, it's going to be a very very straight hairline when it's done. And I was very very insistent that that's how I wanted it. But they were they did try and push me to do it the the um go a little bit more of a natural hairline to go with um a more mask masculine look they say that the masculine look is that sort of the m or the v where it like comes down into a point in the middle but i was i was adamant that i just wanted it dead straight so yeah medications wise i'm not actually taking anything right now like finasteride or minoxidil but i do have my six month checkup next month so i will ask at that point about taking medications like finasteride or minoxidil to slow or stop any hair loss that I might experience in the future. But yeah, hair loss hasn't really been like an issue for me. It's mostly just my natural hairline I've hated for my entire life, so. But I'm absolutely not ruling it out because I do want to have like nice thick hair and I want it to, to keep growing <laughs> and everything. So I, I am interested in taking medication. So I will look into that at my, at my checkup. I am really happy with how it's gone so far. I'm only five months in of growth, so it's, it's not a huge amount of growth, but it is a lot more than it was when it like obviously first started growing. But I'm very happy with the results so far. When it finally grows through, if it's not as thick as I want it to be, I'm not ruling out getting another FUE hair transplant in the future to top it up and make it even more exactly how I want it to be. Okay, so into the video, let's take a look at what my hairline is looking like right now. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty straight and it is growing through really, really well. It looks 
to me it looks really good i'm very pleased with how it's looking um it is quite a natural looking hairline i would say when it like when I pull the hair back and you can like see where it's it's actually growing and stuff, it looks really good. I do I do like it and it kind of matches the um, the natural hairline at the sides of my of my face, um, just like by my temples on my forehead. So it looks like it it, it goes quite well. It is a nice angle. Uh, I really like that it's like a nice straight angle like that in the top corners of my face. It, I think it shapes the, my face quite well. So it's going to look very angular and add to the angles of my face but it's, it's it's growing really well and I'm very very pleased with it. You can see on this side it's it's slightly not it's not as thick as the other side so I am still waiting for that to grow through but you can see underneath there there are a few little um, like pimply spot bits and that's where there's like an ingrown hair that's, that's trying to break free so that's still I'm still experiencing that that um, the ingrown hairs on both sides and um Obviously when they come through that will be hair when it comes through so it's it's just a waiting game really You've got to wait for it to come through and then when it comes through it all looks good and you're all happy So it's all good. <laughs> Let's compare the hairline from three months when it first started to grow through to today So you can see how much it has changed in that amount that space of time It's only been two months since the hair actually started growing through So I think this is a really good amount of hair that I've got so far um, and it will continue to grow so I'm very excited to see where it grows from here but as you can see at the three month mark there is hardly any hair there at all and I was really excited about the hair that was there when I first like spotted it when it started to grow but as you can see now it's like it's so much thicker and it's so much longer and it there is a lot more hair there and it's really coming together as a proper hairline as you can see here from the very very beginning it has grown a lot so you can see the initial stages with the scabbing and the scabs coming off the hair for the hair shafts coming off and looking like there isn't really anything there um, and that continues on for a while where you're in the dormant phase and you can't really see anything growing um, and then when it starts to grow it really starts to grow and it starts to kick in so you can see that right now so that's pretty much it that's where we are right now at five months if I had any advice to give anyone, I would say um, if you're going to do it, do it for yourself, don't do it for anyone else. Like if someone's saying to you that you need to get your hairline done, then don't do it. Do it for yourself, don't do it for anyone other than yourself. It's got to be for you. Make sure you research your surgeon before you get it done. If, he's, if he or she is not GMC registered, General Medical Council registered, then don't. Don't use them. They. It, it, it's what allows them to practice legally. So if they don't have that, don't use them. Make sure they have a, a good track record, check out their results and generally get a good feel for them. If you have a consultation with them and you speak to them and you get a bad vibe, don't go with them. Obviously you've got to deal with the person that is going to be essentially cutting up your head and redoing stuff on your head. So yeah, make sure that you trust the guy or girl that's gonna be doing this to your head. Uh, if it is a lot of money and you can't handle it, then see if they've got other options about paying. So like paying in installments, monthly installments, that can be helpful depending on how much you have to pay back each month. For me, that was what I started doing. I started paying off um, monthly installments, but then I decided to just pay it all off in one go on my credit card and then transfer that over to a 0% balance transfer card so that I've got no interest and I've got way longer to pay it off so I, I pay less each month and there's no interest so that's how I managed to do it. I do talk about that a lot more in my previous video for the four month update so check that out if you haven't already. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can always find me on Instagram as well. My handle is just down here. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions and reply to any DMs and stuff. I always reply to my, my DMs on Instagram. So if I don't reply to you on YouTube, check me out on Instagram and I will get back to you. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will see you next month for another update on the hair situation. So thanks for watching. Bye.